Hi, today I'm going to be talking about position generation. Um, what that essentially is within IG's web page is just creating a position through a deal. Um, so let's say, for example, we wanted to uh, create a cell position at this current moment in time. We just do something like this, and there we are, we have a position in the market. So how to automate this, or at least do it through IG's API, it's fairly similar to the order generation video I made, but I'll just talk through it. There's uh, just a couple of small differences. So here yeah, I've built this class um, to how how do you, you would go about it. So just going through the code, what we're essentially doing is we're getting details about the instrument that we want to create a position for. So we get the epic code, we're passing it into here. We're getting the data that we need. So that's requirements like how big your limits need to be, your stop loss, your limit, um, and how much margin is required to even open the position. So you can see here we're, we're refining that data down. We've got prices here in case we are not, in case we haven't provided the price. Um, this then helps us get our, our limit distances. And then we go about here to create the positions, whether it's a buy or a sell. Now, if you're creating a position, you wouldn't enter a price. But the I've I've used this section to get a price, so I have a, a more accurate understanding of of how big my margin should be. So the stop losses and stuff like that. So if we go into here, you can see it's just it's getting data or parameters we've set, populates these fields here, and then we send it over to the IG API, which we got from GitHub. So that was the base code that we used for this. Um, create this position here yeah sends it off through a request yeah okay let's run it then actually let's let's debug it oh oops my bad Okay, so let's go into it. So you can see here, we're getting data. This is our our data here, instrument, dealing rules, snapshot. So these two are, I guess, more important here that we're going to use. So then we use this function to basically round on our size. So in case our size that we input is something like 0.25 or 0.33 recurring, then we round it to two decimal places. So just to give you an example, um, two decimal places. Um, you can see here we've got a price point depending on the position we're taking. And then you can see we're working out distance. So you can see our distance here, it required is 10 given we have a guaranteed stop as being true yeah and then we got our limits to calculate four we then go into the position creation And you can see here our position's been accepted and put all the way through. Just to have a look at that, we can see that you can see we have our limits here. You can see we have our limits here, our stops there, and you can see that it has been closed in profit. Great. Okay, so yeah, you get the rough idea. Um, the reason for doing this sort of setup is that you can really customize a lot of your features. So if you didn't want your limits to exist, if you wanted your limits to be maximums, then you can just change them here. So for example, 
let's say I change that and I put this one, right? So I've, I've put a guaranteed stop as being false, so I want to use the guaranteed stop loss. And I want my lim minutes, uh, my, my limits to be the maximum they can be. So if we, if we run the program again, you see our position screen created. And here you can see our, our stop loss is just a normal stop. And you can see our limit here is fairly large. You can see it's very large. Yeah. Thanks for watching.